This is Chris with Connected Home Incorporated and today I'm going to show you how to do a firmware update on your Yamaha receiver. Uh, this update assumes that your receiver is connected to the internet, uh, which if it was installed by us, it most likely is. Um, so, we're going to do this by pushing a few buttons on the front of the Yamaha receiver. The first thing we want to do is push and hold the straight button, that's right here. And while holding the straight button, we need to push the main zone power button here. Um, this takes two hands, so the uh, phone's going to turn away for a second here, but pushing and holding straight, and then I'm going to push power. Alright, and once you see advanced setup, you can let go of the straight button. And that power button, that was just a push and release while holding straight. Uh, once you do that, it'll say advanced setup, and then it'll switch over to say speaker impedance is at 8 ohms. Uh, that's a setting we don't want to mess with, but we need to get to where we do want to change things so we're going to use the program left and right buttons here to go over and keep pushing it until it gets to update and I'll say update USB now we don't want to update with a USB drive we want to actually update over the network so we're going to push straight one more time and it'll change to update network uh, now that says update network we just need to confirm that and we confirm it by pushing the info button so push info and that will st start the update process. While the update is downloading um, and installing, if it needs an update, it will take it about 20 minutes or so. Um, I believe my receiver here is already up to date, so it may skip a few steps, but once you've started the update, oh, no, nope, looks like I do need an update. Once the update starts going, it's gonna go through a few different stages here. This is stage one right now. This will go all the way up to stage six. So you'll see this uh, progress percentage go up several times, but it's not until it gets to the end of stage six that it's actually completed. And like I said, it will take about 20 minutes, minutes or so. Once it is done, this will say update successful, please power off. And then you'll just press that main power button again to power it back off. Once you've powered it back off, um, you are all set and uh, you can continue using your receiver like you did before the update uh, with whatever new features are gained from the update. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, if, if you're a customer of ours, you know how to contact us. Otherwise, you can ask your questions in the comments section of uh, the video. Um, but that's really it. Um, good luck and let me know if you need anything. Thank you.